nutrition for your growing little one is important. It's imperative little ones get all the nutrients they need to grow up big and strong. No mom wants to shortchange Junior. So we take out a little security, choosing products with extra vitamins and things, and put Junior on a good multivitamin. Better to be safe than sorry. Hmm, yes, but getting extra is not always a good thing, even when it seems like a good idea. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we catch up with a team of Swiss researchers based at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology who discovered giving iron supplemented biscuits to African kids can have unintended consequences. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, one of the nutrients moms worry about is iron. It's essential. Shortages happen often, especially in poor neighborhoods, and iron shortages lead to iron deficiency anemia. And in little ones, this stunts brain development. Getting enough is critical. So, it's added to flour, to rice, to baby formula, to breakfast cereals, to speciality foods such as biscuits and juice, to multivitamins, and if that's not enough, you can purchase iron supplements directly. As I said, it's important. Mindful of its importance, the Swiss team set out to study the benefits of giving kids growing up in rural Cote d'Ivoire extra iron. The iron was baked into tasty biscuits. Kids enrolled in the study were between the ages of 6 and 14 years and perfectly healthy. Well, except for a few intestinal worms. Welcome to Africa. In total, 139 children took part in the biscuit study. Each child received two Swiss based biscuits four times per week for six months. 70 kids got biscuits with added iron, 20 milligrams, and 69 kids just got biscuits. Now, by definition, a rural village in Africa is a poor neighborhood. But these kids were getting iron in their normal diet. So iron deficiency was pretty rare. 85% of the kids were considered to be iron sufficient. So the iron in the biscuits was extra. The kids eating the iron biscuits were getting 60 to 70% more iron. But the absorption of iron is tightly regulated. You only absorb what you need. Ironically, during the study period, the iron status of the kids decreased. For all of the kids, times were tough. The region experienced food shortages. Welcome to Africa. The iron fortified biscuits made very little difference. Worm counts went up and iron levels went down. And the incidence of anemia went up. Oh well, you, you win some, you lose some. Extra iron is still a good investment, right? 
Well, in addition to keeping tabs on the iron status of the kids, the team was also keeping tabs on gut residents. You see, a good deal of the extra iron in those iron biscuits is expected to end up in the colon. Remember, you only absorb what you need. So all the extra heads down south and the gut residents get to feast on the leftovers. And since just like we need iron to function, so do bacteria, especially the bad guys. The team found kids eating the iron supplemented biscuits lost a few million lactobacilli bacteria, replacing them with bacteria from the enterobacteria tribe. It makes sense. The lactobacilli tribe are not iron lovers. They can live without it. Now, under normal circumstances, iron supplies in the gut are low. This effectively puts the brakes on the growth of bacteria that love iron, stopping their rampant multiplication while allowing the iron neutral bacteria like the lactobacilli to thrive. Iron supplements change the dynamic. Iron guzzlers take over. Members of the Enterobacteria clan include some standard gut residents, such as E. coli, and some decidedly nasty characters, such as Salmonella and Shigella. More nasties in the gut and more inflammation. The team found the kids consuming the iron fortified biscuits had significantly higher levels of calprotectin in their poop. Now, calprotectin is a protein associated with activated immune cells. So more calprotectin in the gut is indicative of more inflammation. And inflammation is seldom a good thing. Oops! The extra iron is not just passing through. The iron is changing who is who in your gut zoo. And who is or isn't there impacts your health because your bugs make you fat, make you allergic, make you moody, make you hypertensive. Hmm. You want to cultivate the right gut microflora. Deliberately adding more iron than you need is not a health move. To create better body chemistry and better health, don't let the marketing fool you. You only need iron supplementation if you are iron deficient. Interested in learning more ways to create better body chemistry, so you optimize your health and the health of your family, visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is using iron supplements? Share this video with them. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.